Hello, happy Veterans Day. Midway stars Woody Harrelson and Skirin, Patrick Wilson, Mandy Moore, Luke Evans, playing parts of the real people who are there at Pearl Harbor and Midway. And Nick Jonas, who plays a tailgater from New York. I don't know if his character is real or just a character to add gravity to Midway. Before you say it, Nick was great. I'd like to see him in more films, especially if it keeps him from making albums. Just kidding, although I'm not a fan of his, his music is alright, just not my style. Anyway, Ronan Everick directed this film, but he's known for not telling the truth. Uh, when he does a, a historical film or quasi-historical film, he did... The Patriot, remember The Patriot with Heath Ledger and Mel Gibson about revolutionary America. Some of the things I liked about Midway was that these were real heroics instead of heroics provided by Marvel or Disney. I think the color grading of the film also, and it made it look older. It had like kind of a greenish tint that you see if you've seen footage from the 40s and colorized footage. It looked good. I like the part about John Ford. Now John Ford was a director who was making a movie about soldiers in the Pacific Theater during 1942. And he was lucky enough to be there during the Midway Battle, and he filmed some of the movie, some footage during the battle. Uh, some of John Ford's dogfighting footage wound up in the older Midway, Midway 1976. And here's uh, another note. I've been to Pearl Harbor about three times in my life, beginning from when I was 11. I really have a debt of gratitude for Pearl Harbor because half my family is from Hawaii. We're Asian, and one of us served in the European theater, but he was living in an internment in the camp, so he was part of the 442. When I was 11, I was going to Hawaii, and... I want, it was a vacation to see Grandma and my cousins, my aunts and uncles, and I chose to go to Pearl Harbor because I felt gratitude toward the soldiers who were laid down their lives before they were even gone. I had gotten up and started in the day on December 7th, 1941. You know, they really... Same for why. Without them, the Japanese would have bombed all across the Pacific coast of our nation from Los Angeles to Seattle to probably Honolulu. Because of the battle of Midway, that never happened. So think about that. Midway was one of our most important battles. I think ever, because it established the U.S. as a world power. Whereas we were only in World War I for about a year and a half, we were in Pacific Theater from the beginning, and we were in, in the European Theater, helping since 1939 with guns and munitions, and men to fly planes. Also, from 1942, we were in Europe, in Nazi Europe, fighting alongside the British 
and the French and Russians and the Russians really liberated a lot of Europe because they had the, the forces and it was in order their own best interest to do so. But in the Pacific Theater it was basically all us because Australia didn't have a big fighting force and ships, but we did and we used them. That's, that's why I, I think the Pacific Theater is where America really shined. And it, it's too bad that most people don't know Midway, only in passing, or not even at all. Because everyone knows about Pearl Harbor. No one knows about the most important part. We crushed Japan's naval fleet. Anyone who's seen Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor in the 2001 film got a glimpse of it way at the end of Pearl Harbor. It was like a addendum to Pearl Harbor. And with the U.S. reading from Pearl Harbor, the Navy needed to shore up our American interests in the Pacific. We were down to about three battleships and we had all of our aircraft carriers which the Japanese Navy wanted to destroy. They tried to destroy them at Pearl Harbor, but the aircraft carriers were away doing maneuvers. The reason why we got to crush Japan's Navy is with good intelligence and good reconnaissance. Everyone worked hard, and we even got one of our Pearl Harbor ships out of dry dock and didn't sink and it was able to be used again. And this is what our Navy did to be able to meet Japan and just outsmart them. The reason why Japan attacked Pearl Harbor was because we put an embargo on them. We said no more fuel, no more rubber. And Japan is a country without natural resources like rubber and petroleum. So they were really hurting us. So they were using wooden wheels to put on their planes, and they were really pissed at us. And the reason why they attacked was they wanted to take us out, you know, so they can not only bomb Los Angeles and Seattle, but also go into China, go into the Philippines, go into everywhere, and just own Asia, air, land, and sea. And we spoiled their plans. Japan was one of the Axis powers. Japan, Italy, and Germany. Italy was kind of not really in it. They were sort of in it, but not, they were not as hardcore as Germany and Japan. When Hitler found out that Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, he was furious because he didn't want to wake the sleeping giant, that being the U.S., because we have a lot of manufacturing might, we have a lot of people who can take jobs, and in the factories while not working, you know, fighting men are away. For being an insane dictator, he was really strategic, and he didn't want us to be in war. The Battle of Midway was, well, was the Japanese Pearl Harbor, because Japan just rolled our fleet, so we just rolled theirs back, and we did a better job because we tricked the Japanese into thinking that they needed to bring everything they had to defeat us to kill our aircraft carriers and our men. We put on a sneak attack, and we just smashed them. And the footage in this film is amazing. It's really good. It doesn't have the, the showiness of a Michael Bay film. It's not like Pearl Harbor, but it's really good footage for the action bag. And what you have to remember is that I like Pearl Harbor where Josh Harnett and Ben Affleck were characters. These people, like... Ed Skirin was Dick Best, Richard Best, who was a fighter pilot. When he was flying down in and destroying the aircraft carriers and it destroying the other ships, he really, really did that. <laughs> it's not for movie, it's, it's real. When Ed Dawson, Patrick Wilson, was 
getting the intel. It was real. He really did that. Woody Harrelson's Nimitz Nimitz uh, was the Eisenhower of the Pacific Theater. There are three movies that relate to this one. The first one I was still just talking about Pearl Harbor. It's a 2001 film starring Ben Affleck, Josh Harnett, and Kate Beckinsale. And they're two farm boys who love flying and get caught up in Pearl Harbor. Rent or purchase Pearl Harbor from Amazon, YouTube, and iTunes. Tora 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 is a 1970 film starring Martin Balsam and Jason Roberts. Japan attacks Hawaii after months of an economic embargo. This movie has a lot of information on a Japanese perspective about Pearl Harbor and the war. Rent or purposes Tora 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 on Amazon, iTunes, and YouTube. Midway is a 1976 film starring Charlton Heston. James Colburn and Henry Fonda. It's about a battle that turned the tide of the war in the Pacific Theater. This film is the one that uses John Ford's flying footage. Render Purchase Midway 1976 on Amazon, YouTube, or iTunes. The reason why, and this is why you stayed here, this is a purely American visitor is because we were the largest borough force in the Pacific Theater, like I said before. In the Atlantic Theater, we were one of the allies with England, Russia, and France. Russia did a lot of liberating even into France. But in the Pacific, it was all our ball game all the way through the war and helped cement our place as the protector of the free world. This is where we got that from, World War II, Pacific Theater, European Theater. This is where we showed the world that we had the might to crush Nazism and dictatorism. Click like, subscribe, comment, and have a great Veterans Day. Now listen up. Thank you, that. <laughs> Maybe go see Midway with them. Soldiers pay for everything we hold dear with their lives. Don't forget that. Have a happy Veterans Day. See you later. <laughs> Bye.